by drag cleaning is played in standard tuning with a couple on the second fret. So the first shape is seven on the G, seven on the B, five on the high E relative to couple. I'm gonna play down up one and then I'm gonna play five on the B, seven on the B, seven on the high E. So then hit seven on the high E again, five on the high E, seven on the B. Play seven on the G, five on the B, hammering on to seven on the B. That's the end of the first part of that riff there. Then hammer on five to seven on the B, and hit five on the high E, going back to seven on the B. And then seven and seven on that B in high E strings twice, down to seven and five on the high E string, seven on the so, so far we've got the chord, little run, hammer on, hammer on again, double stop. We're then going to slide up from roughly the 5th fret to the 7th fret on the G and B strings with the D string ringing out. Grab 9, 10 on the high E. Slide up from 3rd fret on the G and B string to the 5th fret on the G and B string with the D string ringing out. We're then going to put the pinky finger down on the 5th fret of the high E string as well and pick E, B, G, E, B, then go to 3rd fret on the high E and then back to the 5th fret on the high E. We then move this shape down 2 frets to open D, 3rd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, strum that once, put the pinky finger down on the high E string at the 3rd fret and pick E, B, G, then we're going to pick open high E twice. First fret, down to open again, so. Then we're into the main riff. So we're gonna play fourth fret of the G string five times. Then go to microtonal bend and release. And then go to two, open, back to two. Slide up to seven, catch the high E string open, back to seven. we start off the same way. When we go down to open, we just hit open again. Then we've got a fourth fret on the D and open G. We've got a little bend on the fourth fret of the D, up a half step. And then we're into the picking riff. So for the picking riff, we've got fifth fret on the high E, seventh fret on the B, and seventh fret on the G. We've got to pick E, B, G, E, B, G, B. We're then going to play seven on the high E, seven on the B, seven on the high E, down to five on the high E. And back to seven on the B. Five on the high E, five on the B. Seven on the B, five on the high E, seven on the B, five on the high E. Seven on the B, seven on the G, seven on the B. We finish off, seven on the high E, seven on the B, seven on the high E, five on the high E, seven on the B, five on the high E. We then repeat the riff from earlier with the slide in from three and three on the G and B strings to the fifth fret and the picking on the high E string of the fifth fret. Down to the third fret of the GMB. And the same ending riff there. So, for the chords in the song relative to capo, we have this B bass chord. Second fret of the A, fourth fret of the D, open G and B strings. We're going to strum this once. Then we're in for a full bar. We then go up to our second chord, which is fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D, open G. This is played for half a bar before we go to our final chord, which is third fret on the D, fifth fret on the G, open B. So, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And we finish the chord progression with a single strum on the final chord and we accent it too. Yeah.